Welcome to your Go Market Update Charts of the Day. It is Thursday, the 11th of January. Wonderful to see you here. It's Mike Smith at Go Markets. Leading you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's just look at the headlines first before we have a look at some charts. Um, we saw renewed buy in in the US with gains across all the major indices. Despite some caution regarding that inflation number that's coming out tonight and earnings season starting this week. And we have some follow through in Asia with the US futures value positive. Asian markets are following that US lead across the board, with the exception of the Shanghai index, which is a little shy of neutral. ASX is around about a half percent of the upside, and European futures are also pointing to a positive open. US dollar index is mildly negative overnight, but it's still near the top of the short term range it's been trading in for the last couple of weeks. Gold holds short term support at 2030. So it didn't really move up despite that USD weakness. Copper rebounded 50% of the previous day's bearish candle after a breach of the 200 MA and hitting monthly lows. Slightly higher in Asia today and all is trading mid-range again, slightly up in Asia. Bitcoin looks strong and is holding above that key 45 levels. Looks to tackle that high we hit last week. We had an SEC ruling in the US which approved ETFs for Bitcoin and cryptos generally. As well as that US CPI out tonight, along with weekly jobs data, we've got the Chinese CPI tomorrow. And US earnings kicking off, as I've said, tomorrow with JP Morgan, Bank of America and Delta Airlines, the major companies, before we see a reporting ramp up next week. So plenty of market action in the pipeline to see if current levels justify valuations. So we'll look at a couple of charts at Core RI. Uh, the first one we're looking at is Harvey Norman. We've got a really nice trend continuation move on this. You'll see we touched uh, this sort of 420 on the 29th of December. Had this pullback in the early part of this month before we've had renewed buying over the last two or three days. If we just bring this in a little bit, you can see we're now trading over uh, that 420 level towards the highs of the session. We move up to around about certainly in the first instance 456 would be about a six percent rise maybe even in the medium term up towards 480. in the fx world we're seeing quite a choppy session prior to that cpi data tonight across most major indices we did see some strength in the aussie dollar before but i think we've got a retracement going on on the euro aussie we see it on the 30 minute chart here so what we're looking for now is possibly a break of 162.40 uh, and then a move down to test 163. So potentially a 40 pip move to the downside should we close beneath that level. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.